I got to know that my company was sending me for one of the biggest conferences of the world, Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference. I was excited beyond limits, not because this conference was so big or, or it attracted people from all around the world, but because I was going abroad for the first time. <coughs> Guess who was going to front pictures on Facebook that summer? <laughs> but there was one glitch that I had to procure a US visa in just two weeks. And that meant that I had only one chance for a visa interview in Chennai. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, the night before my interview, I didn't sleep. I was too nervous to sleep. <coughs> I kept fiddling around with my documents, <coughs> making sure everything was proper. And as it often happens on those nights, I dozed off just about at the wrong time. I woke up, I saw the time, I was already late sleep deprived and grumpy. I kept looking for my documents and I couldn't find. I shouted in panic, Mom, did you, did you see any documents on the bed last night? Yes, I've kept them in the cupboard safely. <coughs> Why would you have to touch my documents? Why can't you just leave them on the bed? I finally realized that I had to book an Uber. I opened my phone, hey Siri, Book an Uber for me to airport ASAP. The cab was arriving in five minutes. I bagged all my stuff that I could. And I finally looked at the phone to check where the cab is and it shows 15 minutes. Hello? Where the heck are you? Why are you not here in time and why is the cab showing 15 minutes? Hello, sir? Sir, I'm in Pitampura. I'm not able to find your way. Can you please tell me the address and how can I reach from here? If you can't understand directions, why the heck do you drive a car? Check, uh, can, can't you check Google Maps? Check Rohini Sector 18 Metro Station and arrive there in five minutes. Do you understand? I was already in panic. Finally, the cab arrived and I told him to drive as fast as possible. And I was, while I was unsuccessfully trying to web check in on my phone, and in one of the red lights, I heard a knock on my car. I look there. Sir, sir, would you like to buy a handkerchief? No, not interested, get lost. And I kept trying to web check in on my phone, but he again insisted, sir, please, sir, it's only 100 rupees. Five hankies for 100 rupees. And he put one of the hankies in my lap. <laughs> I was already too frustrated from the web, not checking, not able to check in for my flight. And I threw that hanky out of my lap and onto the road. And I said, I said I'm not interested. And I shouted at the driver and said, what are you waiting for? Just drive faster. Finally, the cab arrived at the airport. I ran towards the boarding counters SG one for one to Chennai, please. And she gave me that dreaded answer. Sorry, sir. We have stopped boarding. I insisted, no, 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 you have to understand, please. I have to be there on flight. I have a visa interview. I have to be there on that flight. But she nodded. No, sir, we have already closed boarding. I was left there dumbfounded. How could I squander? One of the biggest opportunities of my life. I, my body trembling and tears in my eyes, I just stood there, I just froze there and I kept looking at her. Maybe with the hope that she'll try to empathize with me. Maybe with the hope that for once she'll give me a look and she'll understand <coughs> that how much pain that I was in and how important it is for me to be on that flight that maybe she would at least give it a try and see if I could be on that flight. However, however, I never empathized with that handkerchief seller for whom those hundred rupees could have meant proper dinner for his family. I never tried to understand the feelings of that driver who might not be able to read Google Maps but he still he was working hard to support his family. I never tried to understand his situation.
I didn't even try to empathize with my mother who's probably spent her whole life trying to arrange my belongings and make sure that I don't miss anything. I didn't even care about her feelings as well. And here I was standing and waiting for an unknown person to understand my situation and do something for me. We are spending so much time in front of machines, or computers, mobile phones, <laughs> we and series and Google Nows, that we tend to forget that sometimes, sometimes we are dealing with humans. And humans have hearts. <coughs> and hearts have emotions. When you interact with any person each and every moment, the way you interact with any person any moment is perpetual in nature. It doesn't die that instant, it lives. And it creates a ripple of emotion that starts from you. The question is what do you want to give back to this world? Anger, wrath, bitterness, what I give, or happiness, joy. But the most important of all, Hope. Because hope a is a good thing. thing. No good and no good thing ever dies. 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 And if you're wondering, I did get on that flight. I did get my interview. And I did get my visa. All because of one person. And because of her. And despite a lot of people like me, I hopeful that the world is a better place. Are you? Are you? Yes. yes. <laughs>